Hey! Hello everyone and welcome to another DDR video, more than a live expert short version, begin when it, the loading screen ends, yeah. <laughs> so this one, it implies you should slow, 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 slow down, but it's staying at 140 BPM throughout from start to finish. Like. Yeah, the arrows are spaced out quite a lot here, but they're still scrolling at 140 BPM. So just watch the flickery flashies on those that hit the arrows, at least that's the way I, I kind of figured it out. <laughs> you know, on the arrow targets up at the top there. But when it starts getting on here, you know, like starts actually going on, I should say, you know, and it starts actually going up the speed, then it's it feels a lot easier to stay in rhythm because you know, there's a more visual reference on how to do it via the arrows itself. And there's nothing really complicated about these steps, it's just that it's fairly long. Just gotta focus on the arrows' rhythm con and concentrate throughout. Don't, like, get into the song and start drifting your mind. Well, okay, you do have to focus on the song for the rhythm and whatnot. But, uh, it's, it's the thing of that... You can't zone out whenever you're going for a triple-A. You've got to stay concentrated. At least that's what works for me. Maybe some people work better on autopilot. I don't know. But anyway, those, those blue arrows in the middle of the, these long hold arrows are probably one of the trickiest parts to get, actually, because they're offbeat from the flashies, you know, from the start point of those arrows. Because, you know, blue arrows are right in between the reds, and the reds in there are the indicator of the flashies at the top of the screen there. So, yeah, it's... It, it's just like a little little kink to your run <laughs> that you might have to work out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.